Since vaccinations first became available, we've been hearing about occasional small side effects, things like soreness or swelling at the injection site, or fever, chills, tiredness, or a headache. But occasionally there are serious adverse reactions to the vaccine, and federal authorities are tracking those reactions through an online database. New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen has been looking into how that works. Hannah? Adverse Event Reporting System, or better known as VAERS. Now, it's not new. VAERS has been around for more than two decades, and it's co-monitored by the CDC and the Federal Drug Administration, the FDA. Now, it's used to monitor adverse reactions for all vaccines, most recently the COVID-19 vaccines. It's really set up so that uh, information can be obtained when vaccines are given if there's some unusual or unexpected um, reaction. VAERS, a database of adverse vaccine reactions, now including the COVID-19 vaccines approved for emergency use. It's a nice system in that individuals can report to it themselves, anyone can report. While patients can report any reaction, healthcare systems are required to report serious reactions. If there's death or a life-threatening adverse event, or if someone requires hospitalization. The FDA and CDC use the data to spot concerning trends and determine how often and how widely they happen. So there have been a few instances <clears throat> of allergic reactions reported to the vaccine. Beyond that, there haven't been new concerning signs. As of Monday, the database shows 100 adverse reactions to COVID-19 vaccines in Maine. Nine of them characterized as serious. But VAERS data doesn't tell a complete story. With any reporting system, it's only as good as the people that report the data. Because patients can submit reports, information may be incomplete, inaccurate, coincidental, or unverifiable. As for hospitals reporting, who reports to VAERS, how they do it, and the time frame of reporting varies from hospital to hospital. There's a heightened sensitivity to get this completed as quickly as we possibly can. While there are just four reported cases of patients receiving epinephrine or an EpiPen following vaccination, a source working inside the Brunswick Rec Center vaccination site run by Midcoast Hospital tells New Center Maine there have been five instances just at that site of EpiPen use and ER visits. A stat Midcoast Hospital's chief medical officer, Chris Bovey, said was likely on Monday. Uh, about five times, probably. Bovey says following CDC guidelines, the site has been liberal in epinephrine pen use, particularly for patients who have used one in the past. We would err on the, on the side of giving epinephrine rather than observing someone and letting their condition worsen. In terms of those events not all being logged in VAERS. Where do we go from here? Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll go right to our log and we'll verify everyone that we called 911 on and make sure we'll recheck to make sure that that's in bears. Bovi says any instance where medical personnel intervene should be reported. The more we report, the better for certain. No question about that. Now, each hospital official that I spoke with underscored uh, the importance of reminding folks that these adverse reactions, they're still very rare, even at that Brunswick site where there was five cases of epinephrine pen use uh, post-vaccine. That's out of more than 10,000 vaccinations, so it's a rate of... Uh, 0.05%, so still really low. Additionally, they say the data shows that your chances of getting COVID-19 and severely ill from COVID-19 are still far greater than having a severe adverse reaction to the vaccine. And Pat, this is clearly why uh, they're already asking folks to wait 30 minutes uh, after they get that vaccine to stay there and monitor them to make sure that they are doing their due diligence and keeping everyone as safe as possible. All right, thanks, Anna.